Tell you what, uh, living out in California for a little stretch here and doing the gatherings, if nothing else, has allowed me to treat myself to a beer at 4 p.m. Uh, or whiskey every single day. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. Happy Wednesday. It's good to be here with you. Woo!
cold today. Now, don't get me wrong. It is not cold like it is not Boston in December cold, but it is uh, it's cold for out here. It is like cold, like, you know, I tried something. I'm, I'm experimenting with something. Right down here, I have a space heater under this little desk that I play. <laughs> play it and we'll see if it's throwing it if it can throw enough heat to keep me keep me good because I want to stay outside this winter when we're gathering no matter how cold it gets so uh, we'll figure it out <laughs> uh, I just had uh, I just had my new friend uh, my new friend Ed over I'm trying to help figure out how we can get uh, a little bit of better uh, internet Wi-Fi capability here. Uh, uh, I might have told you this the other day, but I had Bud and Supergirl on the phone with me. They're uh, uh, they're my awesome techie geeky friends, and so they uh, they called and, and said, you know, hey, you know, let us let us let us snoop around your router and see how it's going. Well, it turns out that as we were fixing up the back of this cabin, cut just a tiny little nick, tiny little nick out of a wire that was going from a little satellite dish into the little cabin underneath the outside paneling of the house. And that tiny little nick of a wire uh, was, uh, was, was causing some was causing some mischief. <laughs> uh, it took us uh, it took us hours to figure that out, but we figured it out. And uh, so uh, you know, and don't get me wrong, it's not like we got great internet service now, but um, but it's but it's better. And we're out in the desert, and I get to hang with you all every night. So uh, yeah, uh, you know, tonight is. Uh, forget what it, I think tonight is 265 uh, we are that means gatherers that we are a hundred days out from having done this every night together for an entire year that is pretty crazy right and I don't know about you uh, it is it is a weird, uh, it is a strange, I have two opposing voices that sit on each shoulder, right? As the number of people getting sick continues to increase, and as the number of us who are dying, not just in the U.S., but around the world, continues to increase, it is, uh, in the words of my friend Brian, who I was talking to on the phone the other day, it is a, it is just there is a deep exhaustion that sets in, uh, and I uh, and that is a voice on on one shoulder, uh, and uh, but the voice on the other shoulder is seeing that there is an inevitability at this point. I'd like to think that there is a vaccine on the way. And the knowledge that as brutal as it has been, we have survived this long, I feel like there is an end in sight. And we just got to hold on a little while longer. Hold on a little while longer. Stay strong. Stay alive. Right? Um, it will end. It will end some point I'll drink to that and it's Wednesday come on it's Wednesday it's a good day the thing about Wednesday is as soon as Wednesday is over really you just got to get through one more day right because because uh, you know once Thursday's over and Friday, you could trip over Friday and land on the weekend. You know what I'm saying? So uh, 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 that's that's where I'm at these days. <laughs>
Went out bug to Johnny, sent a letter to the Globe, sent the governor's edit to me. He said I saw him twice last week with his girl Monique, while his wife said the dog's getting thin. He's a late with the mob, kicked back, took a job, got him all out of charge of the pig. His drug cartel had showed that we went wrong, they don't hold the priests and the pigs. And if you don't read my story, I'll go somewhere else. I saw Cause it's a kind of It's a stand on the Reputation cleaning with the payoff jeans, and they're up to a 
six-figure deal Presidential run for the gov Guess he proved in the dubs He could show up by a mean game of ball And for those that ain't rich Just the bag from the pits Overwhelmed by the blur of it all We'll get 50 bucks back Off of next year's taxes Spend it on whiskey and char Meanwhile, the school downtown Gets its budget cut down Without Meanwhile, the school downtown gets its budget cut down, ripped out with a serpent-like claw. And if you're looking for truth, well, you can set up a booth, pedal anything that cuts like a saw. Cause it's a scandal, a razzle-dazz, a regular over to Space Eater right now. It's good in between songs. <laughs> That's how we're going to do it. Ooh. Well, the colors are just beginning to come out. I don't know if it's time to switch over to the... I don't know if it's time to switch over to the Sunset Cam quite yet. Maybe we're one song away. <laughs> Thank you for the clap. I haven't played that song too many times at the, at the gatherings. Well, I don't know. It's all relative. 265 shows in. I have not shared a new song yet uh, this weekend, and I apologize for that. <laughs> uh, it has been a little whirlwind, whirlwindy since uh, since Allie and I got back, um, but uh, but uh, but I'm excited to continue to lengthen our uh, Supergirls <laughs> database song songless database, uh, and uh, um, and there's still more music to share. Believe it or not, it's crazy. I would. I'm beginning like I'd like to. If I ever get to a place, right, where I feel like we've tackled enough of um, of studio release work, right, of Adam Ezra Group planning and scraping and uh, and gathering stuff, I would love to take like. Right, a songwriting week with y'all, and just and you know, wake up every day, not have to do my little my little job of running my little business of Adam as Group and Rally Sound and all that stuff, and just try to write a song a day and share it with y'all for a week. Maybe that's what I'll celebrate with if we make it through the year mark. That'd be pretty fun, right? <laughs> nice to think about. Okay, whoo. I get off of this mountain You know where I'm gonna go Straight down Oh, I don't think that's right That's right. I'm gonna start again. I get over this mountain. <laughs> you know where I'm gonna go? Mm -hmm. Straight down the Mississippi River to the Gulf of Mexico. Little Charles loser and a little best girl I once knew. She told me just to come on by. Is anything that she could do? Oh, quick, oh, quick. She sent me by spring a leak. She made me, I don't have to speak. She can be a fuck or a stream. If I ever did see one. Ooh, good luck had you 
Thank you for the question. That was the band. One of my favorite, 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 favorites. I like the way that they write songs. cold outside I know it's no real excuse 
but ah, these little acoustic instruments, man, they do not appreciate it. Um, it's actually, let's see, hold on a second. Um, so if you look at this guitar, oh shoot, all right, we're going to look at the guitar first, hold on a second. So if you look at the guitar, right, all those cracks, they ain't fake cracks, right? <laughs> uh, but you see some of the damage on that guitar is from me hitting it and scratching it right there, right? Um, but there are all these cracks in here. And well, that's because, right? Wood, we're playing instruments made from, right, a, like a living thing. <laughs> and wood, even after it's been harvested from the tree, continues to, uh, to, to, to move <laughs> throughout the course of its existence. Um, when it is hot and when it is cold, it expands and contracts. Uh, water, it is porous actually, right? There, water can get in and out of wood. Even when there's sometimes when there's like a little, so they put, that's why a lot of guitars are, are really shiny. They put lacquer over the wood to protect it from any kind of moisture. Now, if you are me and you play a guitar like this, uh, uh, not like this particular guitar, but you play a guitar like that and you're hitting the guitar and beating it up all the time, tiny little cracks may appear in the finish of the guitar especially if it's a soft wood like the cedar top guitar that i play and when there's a little crack and then i'm on a stage and i'm jumping around and i'm sweating a lot the sweat soaks into that crack and gets into the wood and expands the wood and the wood cracks along the seams and then the seam turns black because that's all my nasty dirty sweat that's getting into the seams sorry too much information that's how we do it um <laughs> anyways point being when you watch a musician play uh there we go when you watch a musician play on a cold night you should just appreciate that there is a lot of stuff happening, uh, including, right, including them needing to adjust their instruments in order to uh, make sure that they can handle the cold, the weather. That was not the one that I wanted to show. I saw one comment. Yup. <laughs> that is a friend of mine who ain't afraid to tell it like it is. <laughs>
play the day weekend Driving slow right to my captive folks I know School boards fighting main streets a mess But they're still out strong in the Sunday best like that song I was looking at the uh, I was looking at the song database the other day and I realized that I haven't really played that song too many times and uh, uh, for you all gatherers at least and uh, and I like that song written with uh, my friend Stephen Kellogg uh, if you do not know uh, who that is <coughs> shame on you I'm just kidding uh, if you do not know who that is, you should uh, go check him out. He's a nice fella and a hell of a songwriter and, uh, and my friend. <laughs> uh, whew. Let's see. What am I going to do? Oh, I know what I'm going to do with you all. Uh, so I realized the last couple times that I played this song uh, for you all. Uh, so, right, we had a whole, this is a new song uh, uh, shared for the very first time at the Gathering Series. And, um, and, uh, and it very quickly became one of the most requested songs uh, of the series. Um, and so uh, we've started recording it, which is cool. Um, written by another songwriter friend of mine, uh, a fellow named Clint Daniels. And uh, uh, he is down in Nashville, a country writer. Uh, he would call himself. Uh, I think he's just an awesome poet and, uh, and writer. And uh, man, it is, uh, it, is, uh, it is fun to write with all these incredibly talented human beings. You know what I mean? It really is. Um, so, uh, so uh, we wrote this song, and uh, we did a whole uh, episode of The Gathering on how uh, there's this one line in the chorus I wasn't quite happy with. And uh, I called Clint, we talked about it, and uh, got a lot of opinions from all of you gatherers that were super helpful. 
and uh, and I've played it a couple times since, and I think I've forgotten the line that we ended up uh, agreeing to. So I'm going to try and do this the right way. This is a song called Wasted Words. And you know what? Before it gets too dark, let's see if I can show you. Remember yesterday, for those of you that were with us yesterday, remember the awesome sculpture that uh, my friends and gatherers and Rally Sound community got me? Let's see if I spin this camera around, if we can get a shot of it right now because it is staring at us okay so here we go let me just see if i'm gonna see if we can do this here okay i'm spinning you remember tom that's tom's house right there okay keep going there it is out there now i'm gonna try and zoom in but if you see the table and then out on that rock there are uh Let's see how far we can zoom. It really doesn't do it justice right now. But on that rock, now that rock, so we are we are actually elevated here. And that uh, there is, uh, the, so as you're coming in, you're looking, believe it or not, you're looking up at that, those two figures. There are two figures that are, uh, that are sitting on that rock. There, it's like line art, but a man, I will, at some point, I will post a better picture of that so that you can, you can appreciate. But that's a nice shot of the sunset, ain't it? Pretty cool. Yeah, I live in a cool place. Okay, we are hyper zoomed in, so we're gonna, nobody needs that much of me in the shot. <laughs> and we're gonna, and we're gonna give Tom a little privacy there. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, not bad. Okay. <laughs> what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, wasted words. Get it together, Adam. No. Oh. There we go. Set for soul rides, rolling into you here. Hearts beating fast, having you so near. Don't wanna go, I can't stay. Maybe just one drink for old times' sake. But let's stick to how you been, how. Wasted words. 
Did I say it was uh, an excuse to have a beer at 4 o'clock every afternoon? I meant to say two beers. Sometimes. Sometimes it's just water. But it is a nice, it is a nice tradition. Uh, just regardless of... <laughs> Alcohol intake, because that ain't important. Um, it is nice to just let a little weight off of the shoulders for a little while. And hang, and, uh, and, uh, and share a little bit. Ah, look at this. I don't know who is helping us from Rally Sound today. But, uh, you know what? I was on the phone with uh, uh, my friend Dan from Well Told Today, and we were talking about they have, uh, for those of you, and you know what? I should, I should keep quiet about Well Told because uh, they are going to be on. They're going to be on next week. But actually, I'll just tell you a secret now. They are probably going to go live on their website before they come on next week and we officially announce. And uh, and there is not going to be a uh, a ton of time to order before the holidays once once they're up. But um, for those of you that don't know the story, the first week we were we were gathering, um, these guys from this company, well told got in touch and they said we love what you're doing and we like to tell people stories through the work that we do and they make all these really cool products uh and uh like often like their wheelhouse are various like cups and glasses and cool cool things to put to put liquid refreshment in um and uh and they say they said we would like to support the gathering and and in the beginning they uh uh they they came on just as a just as a kind of a normal sponsor but then a couple a couple weeks in we decided uh you know what let's do something let's do something cooler let's just instead of the instead of that normal kind of sponsorship relationship let's we're what we're going to do let's design some really cool gathering and Adam Ezra group stuff that your gatherers can take home with them and uh, um, and they are uh, they continue to be blown away by the incredible community support that you all uh, that you all uh, give us all the time just by being online and 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 and, and, and by the way this you're welcome to 
buy things, support, donate, all of that's great, but it's hard times for everyone, and you all just being here and hanging out, that's the important part. So keep in mind, when a well-told guys are on here, or when we're talking about holiday gifts and all that kind of stuff, and uh, and uh, and when gatherers and rally sounders are talking about donating, uh, all of that is incredibly, we are incredibly grateful for it all, but it's also not necessary to. We will, we will, we will survive one way or another through this time, just like we all are right now. And uh, and if times are tight, you just enjoy and watch, and don't worry about being a consumer. <laughs> uh, but back to my story. Uh, <laughs> they have. Uh, at one point, they uh, they still have it up on their site. They had these like rocks glasses, these whiskey rocks glasses, and they had four lines from four different songs, uh, so you could buy a set of four. Well, we have uh, now uh, we are expanding the collection. To, there are now twelve different quotes that we are uh, that Well Told is going to be uh, putting on their glassware, and it's not just going to be rocks glasses, but it's going to be. Uh, pint glasses, glass pint glasses, and uh, stemless wine glasses too. So anyways, we're, we're psyched about all that stuff because we know that you gatherers have been uh, excited about it at home. So by the way, I just want to also say this glassware works really great for non-alcoholic beverages too. <laughs> Doesn't always have to be about drinking. Uh, I mean, it's Wednesday. It should really, you know what you should be doing is you should be eating ice cream out of these glasses. I'm gonna leave the city of Red Sand Hustlers.
raise up your glasses Let us drink to the wind at our backs May it always blow steady Whatever you roam May it turn when you're ready To carry Uh, mentioned in the beginning of the gathering tonight the two voices on each shoulder the one that is exhausted and burnt by our time surviving COVID times right and the one that is feeling so much hope with news of vaccines. So much belief in the persistence of who we are and the power of our communities to support one another as we fight to stay alive and stay sane through this time. And it was this voice, the latter voice, that was um, thinking about a day when things normalize a little bit when uh, when we won't be gathering every night anymore. And funny enough, that was a sad thought. <laughs> that, that voice got a little sad. <laughs> um, you know, 
we obviously can't keep this up together forever. Um, at least not, not every night like this, right? But, uh, but, you know, uh, we got this until the world, until the world normalizes a little bit more. Whatever that means, however that's gonna happen, uh, I'm gonna be here with you every night. So there. <laughs> Please stay safe. Keep on looking out for one another. I'll see you tomorrow.